symbolism is what we're going to talk about today and its effects in all works of art, from poetry to novels to artwork itself. Symbolism is an object used for deeper meaning. It's a literary device that refers to the use of symbols in a literary work. A symbol is something that stands for or suggests something else. So it's representing something greater than just what it is. Universal symbols. Universal symbols are symbols that we are all familiar with. When we see a heart, we usually represent it with love. An American flag will represent freedom. A dove will represent peace. We also see universal symbols in street signs. If we see this uh, stop sign, even if the word stop wasn't on it, our first reaction is to slow down and come to a stop. Flags in general um, represent many different things. Think of a white flag, think of a pirate flag, think of a skull. All of these things have connections and represent something larger than just a heart, a flag, or a bird. Universal symbols that we see in artwork, in literature, are easy to connect to. But sometimes we'll get symbols that are not as easily pointed out, and we have to think about them. Symbolism in novels. In To Kill a Mockingbird, a mockingbird is a symbol. The book has a famous line that reads, it is a sin to kill a mockingbird. And that's because the mockingbird symbolizes innocence. A mockingbird doesn't harm anyone. So we have to figure out what characters in the book are innocent and don't harm anyone. Like Tom Robinson and Boo Radley. A mockingbird symbolizes innocence that represents those characters. Lord of the Flies has a famous symbols of a conch shell. It represents leadership. Piggy finds the shell, and when he's holding it, he can speak. As it gets passed around and other characters hold it, it's their turn to speak and be the leader. When the shell breaks, all leadership is destroyed, and that's when chaos breaks out. So when you're reading these books or any books, finding what is a symbol can often be difficult. A title often will have a symbol in it and something that comes up repetitively. So if you see something that is taking place over and over again and you keep seeing it come up in the book, it's probably pretty important and it's going to tie into either your theme, your symbol, or both. In branding, we even see symbols. For Baskin Robbins, we see the 31 in the middle, representing 31 flavors. In Tostitos, we see the people sharing the chips and dip in the middle of the word. And we have LG and we have Starbucks. All of these symbolize something. Let's look at a song. Summer Love by One Direction. It's nearly over, because you were mine for the summer. Now we know, like snow in September, but I always will remember you were my summer love. You always will be my summer love. Can you find a symbol in this song? What is the relationship being symbolized as? If you're thinking a season, you're correct. Starts off summer, warm, love. Then with time, it's like cold, snowy December. The relationship changes like a season. Oops. Symbolism in art. In this piece, the large scale of the eye is the symbol of the spirit rising up out of the dead matter of the swamp. The physical organ, which is looking up towards the divine, is carrying a skull. The head is the symbol of the origin of the imagination. 
and it's looking up to that sky. Poetry. Ah, sunflower, weary of time, who countest the steps of the sun, seeking after the sweet golden climb where the traveler's journey is done. In that stanza, what is our sunflower symbolizing? If you said a human, you would be correct. The sunflower is a symbol for humans and the sun is symbolizing life. So as you can see, symbols appear in many different places. From things we see on a regular basis to novels, short stories, poetry, artwork, branding. What's important is to try to find them and understand them. Thanks for watching.